In a previous video I showed you how to install Windows 8. In this video I'm going to show you how to install it into VirtualBox, a free virtualization software. I'm going to leave a link in the description for this video, so go and download that now and install it. Let's begin with this tutorial. So first what you'll need to do is click on New. You'll see this wizard pop up, so click on Next and just enter the name of the virtual machine that we want, so I'm going to call it Windows 8 Ent 64-bit because that's what I'm using. For the version, we'll scroll down and click Windows 8 64-bit. It may get automatically selected if you just type in Windows 8 64-bit in the name. So click on Next. Here we need to select how much RAM that we want to use. You can use this slider or you can enter it manually. So I'm going to use 2512. Click on next. We need to create a new hard disk. Click on next and you get a bunch of options here. I recommend you use the VMDK, which is uh, popular amongst uh, many other virtualization programs like VMware, for example. So click on next. Here you'll get to pick dynamically allocated or fixed size. Dynamically allocated is basically where you set a size but it doesn't take up all the hard drive space. It'll be that size and it'll eventually grow to the maximum size. So it doesn't use anything that it doesn't need to. Fixed size is just that. If you set 30 gig it'll take up 30 gig on your hard drive. We're going to use dynamically allocated for this. So click on next. You need to select the amount of space it's going to take up. I'm going to use 20 gig, but you can leave it at default or do it small. Click on next and click on create and click on create again. So next what we need to do for this is we need to click on settings and adjust a few things. If we click on system, you can disable things like uh, the floppy drive because we don't have one. Enable hardware clock. If we click on the processor, we'll be able to select the amount of cores that gets used from our CPU. Because I have six cores, I'm going to use two for the CPU. So it'll be like uh, this virtual machine is going to be using a dual core. We can leave the rest. Click on display make sure that the video memory is set all the way to the maximum. Make sure that both of these are clicked. We'll click on storage and click on the CD drive here. Click on this CD icon and select your disk. You may need to browse for it here but since I already have it selected I can click on this and everything else should be fine. We'll get to shared folders at another time. So click OK and then press start. And now you'll be able to install Windows 8. If you want to know how to install Windows 8, go to the video that I uploaded already. I'm going to skip all of this and go straight to additional things that you'll need to do. So once you have Windows 8 installed and you're at the desktop, you'll need to install uh, guest editions. So you can access that from the top toolbar and go into Devices and then install Guest Editions. Eventually you'll see this pop up but we're going to ignore that for now. Just go to Computer. In the Libraries pane, just click on the CD drive and you'll see here. If you're using 32-bit, you'll need to right click on this. If you're using 64-bit, right click on this version and run as Administrator. This might pop up if you have UAC enabled, so just click yes. And then just go through the installation steps. It may ask you to install a driver, but if it hasn't, like it hasn't here, then that's okay. You just need to reboot the virtual machine. And next time you do that, you should be able to get a decent resolution that will fit the size of your screen. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.